This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you. And today we're taking a look at the Arimi grill tank from Kanger. Sent it over by the manufacturer for you for the purpose of this review. Before we get into it, do want to take the time to remind you that we all have a part to play in the fight against big pharma, big tobacco, the FDA, and the deeming regulations that are looming over our heads. That means that if you're on social media, paint the best possible image of the vape community that you can. If you're a shop or a shop owner, remind your customers that they need to get in this fight if they want to keep vaping and follow all your calls to action, including those to support HR 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. We all have a part to play. So. The Gill Tank, Gilly Tank, I don't know, it, it's a weird name, but it's by their Arimi line, Kanger's Arimi line. I was really excited about this device because it's different. There's just something interesting about it in the way that the coil is designed because it's a big fucking coil. It's really fucking big. I mean, that's the highlight for me is this coil head. I mean, it's like a cardamizer and a coil got married, had a baby, and out popped this massive macro coil. It's ginormous. It reaches from the bottom of the tank all the way up into this little area here. The drip tip pops off, which is just this. You can't use your own drip tips from what I can see. Well, maybe you can. Is that a 510 connector up here? Can you use your own drip tips in here? Let's find out. Yo, Cthulhu, you mind if I borrow your drip tips? Thank you. Cthulhu, MTL, we'll get to that later. I love the drip tip that comes with this thing. So this little tiny red drip tip, so cute. Come here, do you fit in here? Yeah, you do, okay. So it'll accept drip tips. If you don't mind taking off this thing and leaving that thing uncovered. And it's a low wattage kind of thing. It's 0.5 ohms, okay, so 40 watts. Something like that, that's what I would go with. Yeah. I mean, even that's kind of high, so. That's the thing, there's not a lot of flavor here. That's what's disappointing. I was really excited about this device because that coil head, you know, I figured it's a massive coil, it's gonna be lots of flavor, it's gonna be a lot going on here, but I mean, most of the coils can be submerged. And what I noticed is when the juice level starts to get kind of low, probably around there, you know, about halfway through the tank, it's a little bit more dry. You kind of gotta go like that and hit it a couple times like that to get it saturating to the top again. And it's just not a lot of flavor to it. I mean, this thing, I think it's because of this. This stupid thing here, this, this, it's got a spitback protection. Uh, you know, I, I mean, spitback protection, I like it in theory, but there's better ways to do it than putting just this metal block here and allowing airflow to come in through the sides of it. You know what I mean? I'm just not into that. It just kills the flavor for me. See, what this is doing here, there's this piece with the Arimi logo right and then there's this piece that has your drip tip connection and it has your spit back protection and when this is screwed together it kind of locks the coil into place so that kind of anchors on into here and gets locked in it's all locked together and, lo and it looks like this i like it for it because it's different but i don't like the flavor i'm getting <sighs> Which is what I keep coming back to. It's it's just the flavor. Everything else is interesting, honestly. If not a little bit messy, if not a little bit weird to put together, positive connection over here, and then your negative is this whole top piece, more or less. And your spitback protection isn't just your spitback protection. Your spitback protection is also your negative post. I mean, it's not like I can't cut this thing off, the spitback protection, because that's your negative post. You can't pop it off. It's it's odd, man. It's interesting, but it's odd. The real fail for me here is that this airflow, the airflow that's coming right at the coil here is non-adjustable. The air is in like these four little tubes that are coming in through the sides here and these four little airflow intakes and they travel in this tube and then it's pointed at the coil on these four tubes. And it sounds kind of cool in theory, you know? I like that, that concept that's gonna create some kind of spiral maybe of airflow that's just surrounding the coil and air. 
It all sounds great in theory. I think that's where my the, my big problem with it is. If it was adjustable airflow, I could restrict that down more. I could get more flavor, but I can't. And then there's like the secondary airflow, like these four tiny holes over here, which makes it even less flavorful. And the only way to block those off is to use the drip tip that comes with it. It's airy and it's loud and I don't really care for it to be honest with you. It's cloudy. Even at, you know, 60 watts, it's cloudy. 65 watts. But I'm just not getting any flavor. I don't get anything. It's a waste of juice, honestly. Wow, that sounds really harsh. <laughs> it's true though. Comes with some extra O-rings, extra tank. Comes with cotton as well. This cotton looks Eh, I wouldn't use this cotton, personally. This doesn't look like anything I would ever use, especially for this. I mean, is it even enough cotton? The idea is that you can re-weck these coils, okay? You can shove a bunch of cotton through this, like, little macro coil, and you can reuse this coil, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use this fucking tank again, to be honest with you, because there's zero flavor. And it comes with extra coils too. You get two of them. I like that. I like the coils. I really do. I like the coils. I like the construction of the tank. I think it's interesting how I've never seen a tank like this, that your top cap also functions as your negative pin. That's kind of interesting, kind of different. Weird, honestly, just weird. But I mean, wicking it, I'm not even going to re-wick it, honestly. I'm just not interested in it anymore. I thought it was something really cool, but I'm not impressed, Kanger. Sorry. And I like Kanger's products, I always have. I, I love the Kanger uh, K-Box. My wife vapes basically nothing but uh, the Kanger Subtank. She loves the Kanger Subtank to this day. Some of my favorite devices have been Kanger devices over the years, but this device is just a fail, in my opinion. It, it's weird. It's awkward to use. Filling it, you've got to take this thing out, which is covered in juice. It's nasty. Because you don't, where are you gonna put this? You're gonna hold it while you fill it? I guess you could, but sometimes filling is a two hand operation. You've got this bun, this fucking thing sticking out the end of it. What are you gonna do with it, man? I guess you can put it upside down. I don't fucking know. It's weird. Fill it over there. You put this in there. Then you gotta prime your coil. So you've gotta take off this thing. And it doesn't come off with the drip tip. So it's like a two part motion, two steps to fill this thing. You gotta take off the drip tip and you've gotta unscrew this thing because you can't fill through here because the spit back protection and the negative pin is there too. Drop a few drops on top of the coil and you've gotta fill, drop a few more drops on either side of the, it's just a hassle, man. And then you can pop that back on. I mean, I don't get it. And all that for a mediocre flavorless vape. Junk. So that's the Gilly Tank from Kanger Tech. They're part of their Arimi line. And it's just not for me. So that's it. Anyway, guys, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors.